Are we going down? Good morning, everybody. I'm going to be introducing you to our seals here today. And Ollie over here as well with another big wave. Good boy, Ollie. These are our two middle-aged seals, if you like. These are both 11 years old, harbour seals. Seal in the pool here, she's two years old. There you go. She doesn't like to fight with the others, so let's push her around a little bit. And then our two oldest seals in the pool. We have Fergie. <laughs> Messing around today, guys. And Victoria. There are 17 year old seals. There you go, Vicky. <laughs> so these are harbour seals. They're one of two native species to the UK. The other seal species around the UK is the grey seal. You can see quite a few grey seal pups in our rearing pool at the moment. One more. A lot of people ask me how can I tell these guys apart, they all look very similar from above, but there are a few ways of telling them apart. So Pixie, giving herself away a little bit here with all this waving, there you go Pixie. She also has a stumpy little tail, you can see between her back flippers that she was born with. Go on, one more. Ollie on the other hand, is also a big fan of waving for us. Good boy Ollie, big wave. He's our only male in the pool. He will get a little bit bigger than the girls in a couple of years' time when he's fully grown. He's got a much bigger head than the others as well. And he's a nice dark colour. Good boy. Now Scarlet's quite an obvious one. Being the youngest seal at only two years old, she's nowhere near fully grown. She's also an interesting brown colour, which helps us identify her. It's quite unusual for seals to be that colour, but that's what she is. She moves to the caption dive. And then the two old girls are very hard to tell apart. Got Fergie down here. You can open your mouth for me. A bit more. Yeah, she usually opens the mouth, but she's misbehaving today. Did you get it? You're a bully, Ollie. <laughs> she has some black spots down her chest, which makes it a bit easier to tell her apart. Whereas <laughs> Victoria down here has some pink beauty marks down the side of her face. Now, like I say, these are harbour seals. <laughs> They're native to the UK and they are considered apex predators out in the wild, apart from up in Scotland where there are a few killer whales cruising around. But they're very well designed for life out in the wild as hunters. As you can see, they're nice and chunky. The nature has a very good success rate of releasing seal packages. Uh, hi, babies! Very shortly I'll be talking to you about how actually work. These guys are the rare. How many are they? To being released out into the wild they were all rescued originally for different reasons, and all have their own reasons why they can't go back to the wild. So Scarlet Eleven. down here. Eleven. Eleven baby seal. seal. And she has a hole in the top of her mouth, and that's why they're here. Now seals are very intelligent animals. They're about as intelligent as dogs. And we have a little toy here for them to prove that. It's got some holes in the side. It's an old water bottle. Can you go to the He's talking that. Are you talking? Say hi. Yeah. Sleepy seals. Before I get started, I will say please keep your hands and feet on your side of the wall. They're very, very cute animals, but they do have very, very strong jaws. And believe me when I say it really hurts when they get hold of you. Seals that have been rescued, they're very stressed. Very good a bit of competition with other seals. Gets them chasing fish around. Getting their muscles moving nicely. 
A monster doing that successfully, they're brought over here. And this, like I say, is the final stage of rehabilitation here in Hageland, 23 or 24 years.